Hey everybody, it's Brett and today I am super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sahara in Hydro Blue Pro Coat. This one has the Sky One Touch Power Soft Top and uh, as you can see I got the side rear panels removed. Thought it'd be pretty cool to do that for the video. Uh, we actually did a demo on how to take those off. That'll be up in just a little bit. Anyways, this particular Jeep it's the mid-model refresh, so it's got all the new stuff that comes on the Wranglers. I'm going to go over all that. This particular Jeep, obviously, is the Sahara in Hydro Blue, so we'll get all the options that that gives you, and I'll show you the Sky One Touch power top, and we'll check out the interior and everything. If you like the video, remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Summit Auto. Let's get right into it. As you can see for the mid-model refresh, They've shortened the painted section on the grill. It actually goes down all the way where it used to, but now they've added this black plastic piece, which makes the grill look narrower. You get these seven slots on there. This one does have the front trail camera. You'll notice that this one has LED lights. All the Saharas are gonna come with LED lights now, so that is a standard feature. LED headlamps, LED running lights, running lights there, and fog lights, so that's pretty awesome. And this one does have the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine, 270 horsepower, it's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. And that's gonna get you 20 miles per gallon highway, 20 city, and an average of 20 miles per gallon, obviously. And this is the only engine and transmission that you can get on the Sahara package. Notice the silver inserts on there as well. And around the fog light bezels, this one comes with the painted fenders, the color match fenders and hard top piece there. You get the painted and polished aluminum wheels. These are new style wheels for 2024, as well as the center caps. Now you get the Jeep logo on there. This one comes with Bridgestone Dueler HT tires. These are 25570R18s. The other new thing to note is that you get a trail rated badge on the passenger side now. You still only get one, and that's because this is where they used to put the antenna. They don't put the antenna there anymore. It's in the windshield, which is right there. And these are now Gorilla Glass, which is supposed to be stronger and less prone to chipping and cracking. Still get the Jeep climbing up the side though, and you still get the sandals on the shroud there. You still use T50 Torx wrench to get those doors off. We did a demo on how to get those doors off. You can check that out in the description or in the upper right hand part of the screen. Take a look at the original window sticker here. You can see this is a 2024 Wrangler four-door Sahara. Hydro blue is the color, black interior, uh, the two liter turbo, eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is your standard equipment. Um, so feel free to pause that. I'm not gonna go through everything. One thing to note, the standard radio is the 12.3 inch with Uconnect 5, and that's actually standard all the way across the trim level board for 2024. Uh, optional equipment is Hydro Blue Pro Coat, which is $5.95. Trailer Tow Group, which is $11.95, gives you the auxiliary hitches or auxiliary switches, receiver hitch, and seven and four pin wiring harness. This one has the Technology Group, which gives you the Alpine Premium Audio System, HD Radio, GPS Nav, Connected Trail and Traffic Services, um, the Uconnect 5 with Nav in the touchscreen because sometimes you can get the 12.3 without nav. And then this one also has integrated voice command and integrated off-road camera. The Sky One Touch Power Top is $37.95. You get the removable rear quarter windows, the rear window defroster, rear window wiper washer, and power top quarter window storage bag, which I'll show you in just a second. Those wheels are special, they're $1,095. Total MSRP on this one is $58,595. And uh, if you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen, there's a link to our website. Click that to get uh, all the rebates and incentives on this particular Jeep. Three year 36 bumper to bumper, five year 60 powertrain. And uh, there's your miles per gallon on there as well. Not rated for a safety rating at this time for the mid model refresh. So you can see what's really nice when these rear quarter windows are out, you can get to the back nice and easily. Uh, you can put the headrest down and everything and uh, really gives it that open air feel. You also get the LED tail lamps on the Sahara package standard. The receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. There's a good look at that tread pattern on there. There's your bag for the 
that's the bag for that bag, which holds your quarter windows. And uh, there's your subwoofer right there. You do get storage underneath here with spots for your uh, windshield, door hinges, and roof bolts. Now, if this was a hard top, you'd have four bolts on each side uh, to take off that hard top. We did a demo on how to take a hard top off. If you got one of those, check that video out. That's linked in the description as well as in the upper right-hand part of the screen. Back door here, you get seven slots on the door as well as that grill. And then there's your JL badge with wheelbase and overall length for the two-door, four-door, as well as water fording, where it's developed and where it was built in. So on these Sky One Touch power tops, the rear defrost, the rear window, and the rear door are all exactly the same as they'd be on a normal hard top. And uh, so there's nothing different there. The only difference is these side windows and these pieces do not come off. The painted top piece does not come off. Anyways, um, let's take a look at the interior. You get the enter and go system on this one, heated power mirrors. So this is the new cloth interior for 2024. It's kind of a dark charcoal. Jeep calls it black. I'm going with dark charcoal. Uh, you get the copper stitching on there. Now the leather seats are going to have uh, power seats, which are kind of cool. I wish we had one that I could video. But um, anyways, this one just has the cloth. It just has the normal height adjust. You get this new badge here with the Wrangler and the Gladiator on there, auto headlamps. The dashes on these are cloth now. Some of the Rubicons got this like Gore-Tex mesh on there. I'm not really sure on that. You get the power locks, power mirrors on there as well. These back seats get the latch child safety system back here for any child car seats you may have. Nothing's really changed in the back. You do get 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two USBs, two USB-Cs. Uh, the one thing that has changed is these speakers are in a little bit different uh, configuration. Also the LED lights, everybody's got an interior light on their side instead of one big clump of lights right here. There's like individual ones and the speakers, like I said, are just positioned a little bit differently. We'll hop inside, check out the instrument cluster and that 12.3 inch Uconnect 5 radio. You get the seven inch LCD display, digital speedometer. Um, everything is the same with the instrument cluster. You get that copper stitching on the steering wheel. This one has adaptive cruise controls, regular cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls, audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. And I think you're going to be seeing this adaptive cruise control as a standard feature on most of the trim levels. Uh, we're already seeing it on the Grand Cherokee where this is standard on just about every trim package that you can get. I don't think you can get a Grand Cherokee without adaptive cruise on it. So I think all the Jeeps are going to be going that way. Here is the 12.3 inch Uconnect 5 radio. Uh, you can see it has off-road pages. It has the factory navigation system on it. And there's Highway 41. It fills the entire screen, which is pretty cool. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. There are all your sources that you can do. You get your comfort settings for your climate control. Uh, so you can see you get your dual climate controls there, your heated seats, heated steering wheel controls. Notice that they don't have the air vents on the side anymore. They have the vents underneath the radio. And this is different up top here. There used to be a big storage cubby and now it's just one big centerpiece. Get that kind of cool black trim. I do like the gloss black that flows right into the instrument cluster. Kind of gives it a seamless feel there. Down here, your more tactile volume tomb and climate controls, as well your, as your heated seats and heated steering wheel controls. They really haven't changed anything down here. This is all the same as the 2023. Um, start stop capabilities, stability control, speed select crawl control. You do still have your media center with an AUGS, USB, and USB-C. And then you get four auxiliary switches down there, your 4x4 shifter and your 8-speed automatic transmission. Key fobs are still the same with the flipper. Nice chunky key fobs. This one has remote start. And uh, the last thing before I open up this soft top is all the Wranglers now come standard with side curtain airbags. So definitely 
an upgrade safety wise on the Wrangler uh, with those side curtain airbags. Up here, you get an auto dimming mirror. Also note, you get seven slots above that mirror, just like the rear gate and the um, grill. Home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems and assist and SOS buttons. So they call this the Sky One Touch Power Soft Top because you just press this one time and it'll open it up all the way. And it takes about 20 seconds. I think we timed it a couple times, 18 to 20 seconds. Um, I think it's depending on if the vehicle's on or not. Speed's a little different. But you can see how that goes open like so. And you get the open air feel with those side quarter windows out. And I'm sure if the uh, doors were off, you'd get a full open air feel like you do on a Wrangler with a hard top that you have off. And uh, you can see how that looks. Really cool looking. And uh, I'm gonna turn on all the lights and then do a final walk around here so you can see how it looks with all the lights on. And uh, I'm actually gonna turn off all the lights in the studio so that you can see just how nice and bright all these LED lights are. So let me pause this one second. All right, so check that out. Those lights are extremely bright. They look really good and they definitely illuminate what's in front of you very nicely. And I'll take a look at those back LED lights as well. They look really good too. You also get the LED license plate light there. And that's really everything. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the Sky One Touch power top with the side quarter windows out. It's my first time seeing it like this. Let me know what you think about it in the comments, what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video, what you like about the Wrangler, what you don't like about the new Wrangler. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. And in fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to how to take your rear quarter windows out of your Sky One Touch Power Soft Top Wrangler in the upper right, a link to how to take your hard top off of your JL Wrangler in the lower left, and a link to how to take your doors off your JL Wrangler in the lower right. Click those, check us out. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.